Hey everybody, it's Tech Freak back here with another video. And in this video, guys, I'm really excited to show you more top 10 city tweaks that you can ever get for iOS 8. Now, again, these are my personal favorite. Now, I've uploaded a video like this yesterday, but the quality wasn't that good. So, I'm going to make it up for you guys and I'm going to post a high quality video. And these are new tweaks. So th these are not the ones that I mentioned yesterday, and these are all cool tweaks, and they are all tweaks that are not so common, so don't worry about me, you know, mentioning Barrel or anything that most of you probably know. Now, without any further delay, let's get started. The first tweak here is called Type Status. Now, what Type Status does, it allows you to know if someone read or if someone is typing a message for you from iMessages. So, so if someone read your message, it will show you read, and if someone is typing a message, it will show you typing. And there you go, you receive your message from iMessages. So this is type status. It's a really good city tweak to let you notified, and uh, I think it looks pretty cool, and it's very helpful for me, actually, because I use iMessages a lot. So yeah, this is type status. The next tweak here is called Touch Bows. Now, if you've been watching my videos lately, you know that I use Screen Recorder to record my screen to give you tutorials on some city tweaks. Now, I use a pointer that shows my tab, and I don't know if you can tell, but as you can see here, I have this red mark right here. It shows where are my finger going when I'm recording my screen. So if you're kind of guy who runs a YouTube channel or likes the look of this, you can, uh, you know, download touch bows. Now, there are some settings here to configure touch bows. And as you can see here, it looks more visible now with the uh, white background. Now, if I go to touch bows right here at settings, you can adjust the color of this, you can set an activation gesture to enable or disable touch bows, and for mine I am uh, using the default circle, you can choose an image, and you can also change the color, so mine is set to the red color, now you can change this to blue and a lot of other stuff, so if you're a kind of guy like me, touch bows is the tweak to go. Here is Polis. Now what Polis does, it allows you to totally customize the toggles and the quick switchers here. You can add more toggles, you can add more pages, and as you can see here, I have a toggle for my uh, cellular data. And you can also customize the look and feel from this. So if you go to settings here, and you can change the icon packs here, and you can change the... Uh, you know, comfort, you can configure a lot of stuff. You can change the look of the apps. And here's the bottom shelf here. You can add some other toggles like Messenger here. And if you take a look, I by swiping, I have a new toggle. This will invoke Messenger for me. And uh, there is, you know, you can add like five in one page. And as you can see, I have five in one page. You can also change the look like you can enable custom shape and make it like circle so as you can see it has a circular look for it down below here and also for the top shelf you can change the custom shape and make it a square so as you can see I have a square look here this looks pretty neat actually but I think I like the circle a little bit more now these are all cool features that you could do to the control center to customize it you can add of course other functions like cellular data like um, you know Cydia tweaks that require activation methods, you can toggle them from control center, like sorry low battery, which I have showed to you in my last video. So yeah guys, this is Polis and it's a pretty cool city tweak. Check it out. Now here's Linktunes. Linktunes allows you to download songs directly from the iTunes store for free. So just by going to the Linktunes tab here in the iTunes store, you can head over and search for a song of your choice. So once you search for a song, it can appear for you right here and links will appear and by tapping on any link you can download it or you can listen to it. So if you tap on the download here and the link is working, this is just an ad here, you can go to the more tab and go to the downloads and you'll see here as you can see chandelier is downloading. You can pause it, you can delete it, so it's a really cool CD tweak that allows you to download songs for free. 
the next tweak here is a lock screen tweak called Groovy Lock. And this is actually one of the themes that you can download for Groovy Lock, and this is called Grand LS. Now, Grand LS is my favorite Groovy Lock theme, and as you can see, I have a very nice look for the uh, uh, clock here and the date. And I really like this, and you can change the color of this right away from settings, from the Groovy Lock settings, so you must have Groovy Lock for Grand to work. And, uh, you can change the theme. I have grand the white. You can change it to black, of course. And if I look my device here, as you can see, it turns into black. But I prefer the white a little bit better. You know, I can change the opaque rate. You know, for me, I've set it for two to three. You know, you can make it totally opaque so it doesn't become transparent at all. And uh, yeah, this is Groovy Lock. It's a little simple lock screen tweak that you can, uh, you know, change the look of your lock screen. Did you notice my folders? As you can see here, my folders look blue. Now, how did I do this? This is with a pretty cool CD tweak called Folderix. Now, what Folderix does allows you to change the look of your folders. And this is actually a blue one here. I think I like this so much. You can change it to red. You can change it to whatever color you want. So, by going to Folderix settings here, you can enable it. You can configure some settings here. You can change the folder list, like the toggle to show or hide the folder list, you know, uh, what the folder list is actually, if you open a folder, you will see a folder list here, like other two folders, here's utilities, and here's jailbreak, now, as you can see, this is a really cool way to uh, interact with your folders, you can also pinch to close a folder, you have a lot of cool features here that you can adjust for Folderix, and yeah, it's really cool, nice city tweak here, and uh, yeah, this is Folderix, guys. The next tweak here is very simple, it's called Circle Icons. Now, as you can see here, the icons that are in my settings app look circle and they're not square, and this is because of circle icons. Now, circle icons have a little bit of settings that you can configure. Of course, you can change the shape from circle to the default and you can remove them all. So this is really simple and just a little change to the look of your settings app. Now here's iCleaner. iCleaner allows you to clean the left update and left by CDA tweaks and over the air updates. So there's nothing to tell about iCleaner here. Just download it and you have some toggles here to clean some stuff. It's actually smart so it's not going to delete stuff you need. And by tapping on the clean here you can free some space. So this is iCleaner and there is a pro version that costs money actually which is called iCleaner Pro. Alright, so here's a theme for you guys right away. I know this theme looks catching, so I'm gonna mention it for you. This is ACOC8. So, uh, you can, of course, adjust it using Winterboard, and it's just a single theme here. So, this is called ACOC8, and it's a pretty cool theme, actually. I think you should try it out. Now, the final tweak here, guys, is called Color Board 8. Now, Color Your Board 8, actually, is a nice cool CD tweak that you can change the color of your keyboard. So, if you don't like third-party keyboards that you have to download from the App Store and you like the Apple built-in keyboard, you can change the color of this keyboard just to, you know, change the experience. So, for me, I like having it dark all the ways. So, as you can see here, mine is set to dark. You can change this to blue and it could be creative and choose some really cool colors to change the whole look of your keyboard. Now, this is very simple. Color Board 8, it has its own standalone app, and yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video, and if this video did help and you figured out some new city tweaks, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for more jailbreak videos and city tweaks like this. Thank you guys all for watching this video, and I'll catch you up in the next one. Peace.